Hello everyone, it's been a while, actually almost a year, uh, but we are coming back with the new tutorials, starting with this holographic series, which is gonna be tutorials mostly about like colorful stuff, like holographic foil, iridescent, glitter, CD discs, etc. And yeah, I am just excited to be back and let's get started with this tutorial. So we have in the scene this holographic material, and let's go quickly over what settings are, um, definitely you need to look for. And one of the settings is definitely ray epilepson. If something's gonna look weird with this material, it's probably um, the ray epilepson and you need to tweak it. And for less important settings, uh, let's go to camera imager, in which we have ACES turned on. Uh, we have a bit of saturation here, um, turned from 1 to 1.2. Although it doesn't matter much because you can always uh, boost the saturation in post process. And I have a hot pixel removal set to 0.9 just to get rid of bigger um, fireflies if there is any. And in post process tab, we also have it enabled and only the bloom is here on 30 just to give it a bit more vibe, you know. When it comes to object tab, we have few lights here, HDRI. Uh, camera with um, depth of field, of course the backdrop, and we have our sticker. Speaking of this sticker and the scene of an overall, the scene gonna be available on my Patreon, which I uh, also set up along with this uh, comeback with tutorials. And also you will find separated file there with six of these stickers, which are UV unwrapped. Also there's two other stuff in there right now. One of which is thing you really need for this tutorial. And it's free download, so no worries there. And I'm pretty sure you don't need to have to log in in Patreon to download it. And that free download is going to be eight uh, normal maps, which you really need to get this holographic foil um, look. And as I said, it's free download, no login probably. So definitely grab it if you want to follow this tutorial. Okay, with that out of the way, let's proceed with the tutorial. So we're going to start with creating new material so go to create extensions c for the octane octane material let's connect it to our model let's double click on it click at the node editor and let's start it so first let's go to basic change the material type to probably metallic and brd of model to ggx energy preserving let's go to specular map change it all the way up so we get the metallic look uh, let me also actually disable the post process here quickly and dip of field so we can see exactly how the material looks like. And now let's move to roughness, change it to 0 0.1 and you can use values between 0 and 0 0.2. Those are the best in my opinion for this material. Now for the film layer, we're going to get to it in a second. Actually, we can even start it right now. So let's click C on an empty space in Auditor and type in normal. And let's connect it to film width like that. And let's quickly look at the settings we have in here. So if we zoom in here, you can see we have those really ugly uh, geometry visible. And it's because we have normal type set to geometric. What you want to use is smooth or shading. Smooth, it's going to just follow the font of the model. The shading gonna also take into account bump and normal map. So definitely go with shading, it's just the best one. And it's gonna be also mandatory for this material as well. For the coordinate system, I usually like to play with world and tangent, but all of these works. All of them looks a bit different and reacts differently. Let's leave it at world right now. Let me zoom out. And this is where the part when Free Dolan from my Patreon comes into play, because we need those patterns to proceed with this tutorial. And again, download these, they're free download. Probably you don't even have to log in. I'm like 80% sure. And you have here some of these patterns. I'm gonna grab this one. This is my favorite, but all of them gives a bit different result. And I'm gonna connect it to normal. And right now it doesn't look correctly because if we still node it, it's on the whole thing. So what we need to do is drop the transform node here 
uh, go to the transform node and lower the value to really low value to like 0 0.0001 so four zero after the dot or three zeros just something that basically you can't see when you are from that distance it needs to look a uniform and let me disable the cell node and now you can see something is definitely going on it looks a bit more crazy um and in a color space also let's change it to non-color data I, I just don't trust those stuff sometimes it's just better to keep some stuff in non-color data to make sure it's accurate let's go back to our material here and we can play with the roughness now for example see what kind of results we can get and i can even switch the coordinate system to tangent so i can show you how it looks it gives you a completely different result probably even more hol holographic one and of course film layer we can also change the film eor values between one to two are mostly the best i would say so something in between will probably look cool if you want the most ridiculous colors, definitely go with value of one. Let's go back to roughness. I'm actually gonna lower the roughness to 0.1 because I just prefer it that way. And we can now connect also the noise, octane noise to be precise, uh, to a bump, just to give it that sticker texture. So let's select this area here, for example. And my favorite way of doing that is to just set octaves to two, add UV transform, and just lower it till I like it. Basically, something like really small grain uh, of noise. And of course, right now it's too much. So let's lower the power to something like 0 0.01, maybe even more. Yeah, probably even more. So 0 0.001, let's see if that works. Yeah, that's pretty much cool. Let me actually go something in between. I still want that texture to be visible like that. It just feels way more uh, realistic that way. Now you can actually play with those different patterns if you want. Of course, different settings here, but let, let me show you the quickest way of like adding something in the middle or adding the pattern. It can be texture, it can be pattern, whatever. Uh, what I'm gonna do is add mix and I'm gonna connect the same texture to one and texture two and add channel inverter for second texture. Uh, also, if you don't know how I snap those uh, nodes, it's basically just holding old when dragging. This way you can see that green light. And if I see the green light, I can just leave it and it will snap to it. And in a channel inver inverter, I'm going to just select the invert red channel and invert green channel. Let's add something to amount so we can tweak it. And this can be, as I said, some kind of texture or just some kind of pattern. And I'm going to actually use chain mail pattern. Let's see how it looks. Okay, th that's pretty cool. Yeah, we can add transform to it. Lower it and get some kind of really cool holographic like result. And if you want to tweak it, you can use, of course, uh, color correction. Again, let's snap it to between those two nodes. By lowering the brightness, we can adjust the amount of this mix here. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And we can get this really cool result. This also works with textures, uh, like the one I had at the beginning, this one. Uh, there's just logo. Uh, the only extra step I did was actually adding the mix to noise as well and connecting that chainmail to texture too, just to give it a bit of bump, you know. Um, but we don't want it to be too much. So let's go all the way down to zero and let's adjust it on a bit closer look. It's going to be really small value. Yeah, like 0 0.003 probably, just so it looks more 3D. And we get this really nice pattern going on here. And now we can, of course, change uh, to a different patterns, different coordinate system here, play with um, film EOR to get a different result as well and to showcase you that it's really cool let me actually drag it around you can see it looks completely different from each side because it will basically um split the reflection to a different position because of our micro uh, normal map pattern so it will always looks a bit different and the very last step will be probably adding the material layer uh, in basic Go to material layer and add layer specular layer um the first thing we want to change here is going to transmission and change it to thin la thin layer uh, we can add a bit of roughness in here like 0 0.01 
And let's change the BRDF model to GGX energy preserving. And EOR is something in between 1.3 and 1.7, depending on your liking. I will go with 1.5. And again, you can also add the texture from here to bump. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's how you get that holographic foil material. And let me quickly remind you of the Patreon, because this scene is going to be available on, on my Patreon. Remember that there's free download for those patterns here. So definitely grab those if you want to play with this material. Those stickers, actually there's six of them on Patreon as well. And there's 10 of these material presets on my Patreon as well. And yeah, I'm just really happy to be back with you guys. I'm really excited to keep continuing making new tutorials again and sharing more information, more knowledge on the Patreon. Hopefully we can improve ourselves together on the journey in 3D world. And yeah, that's gonna be it. See ya.